Here's the closet that will be getting organized and decluttered. So I'm just gonna go around and show what we have here. It's to start is just some shoes. Shoes are everywhere. This little shelf thing is trying to help to stack them to keep them a little bit organized, but obviously we have a lot more going on than can be housed on here. Then up here I have this radio and these two command hooks. These are supposed to be like one of the strongest command hooks that they sell as far as how much weight they will hold. I wanted to put a bar going across and hang my shoes from that, but obviously that did not work out. And then I have these, my belts are hanging here. I makeshifted this together by getting a little piece of wood and then attaching some nails. And then underneath I have some hooks and then attached a ribbon or actually yarn and hung that from there. So that's been holding my belts. I don't know if I'm gonna change this or not. Then coming right around here. So to start out with, I have all my sweaters. These are all open front sweaters or button down sweaters. And then I have all these sweaters under here. These are pullovers. And I found that the hangers were distorting the shoulders. So I pulled them down and I tried to put them under here in a folded organized way but that did not work out so that's one of them that's pretty much the main thing that I'm going to be focusing on getting this area intact or actually moving these out and putting them somewhere else down here is just blazers and then little light jackets or little throw overs like that and then here is just dresses and suits uh, everything that's long hangs down here and then underneath I just have this little bin and this is a travel case this is a backpack I don't even remember what's in there I think I have other bags inside of this and then over here is all shirts so short sleeves going over to long sleeves and then down here is all my skirts so on this shelf here I put this um, this clothing closet unit together myself actually the closet originally was just a long beam going here and then another beam here so I took it apart and then set it up like this because this worked much better for me but it's starting to get way over cluttered with things so here is just a pile of clothes this was a, supposed to be a basket of all my flat shoes so I do have some other shoes underneath here but then it turned into like a pile of clothes that I didn't get around to hanging up and then on this shelf is just all my handbags. So those are under there and unseen. Those need a home or a better home. And then back here is my set, my um, suitcase set. It has other suitcases inside of it. And then this is just some drawers of spillover clothes that don't fit in my dresser, which is in my bedroom. Under here is leftover shelves from this unit those really need to go I was trying to hold on to them thinking I was going to expand this somehow but as you can see there's not much room I thought about adding a piece here and extending this here but never got to do that so I probably need to just toss those and then um, up here I have clothes that got too small for my kids that I plan on giving away but I haven't gotten around to doing that I usually like to wait till right before the season and I think these are all summer clothes and then this is a hat and up here some other hats for church and um, those probably some of those need to go I've had forever that I don't even like so I'm going to declutter and organize this closet the first thing I'm going to do is take inventory of what I have on each rack and then I'm just gonna take out whatever it is that I don't think I would be wearing or have it worn in a while. So that's what I'm gonna do first and just eliminate some of the clothing items. And I know Marie Kondo has um, come up with this method and I've watched her show and I don't see why her method is any different than any other form of decluttering where you just take out the things that you don't use and then organize the things that you do have. So whether that be putting them in boxes or containers, it seems like the traditional method of just 
organizing that everyone has done forever. I've watched several episodes of her show and I do not see what the hype is about, but correct me if I'm wrong. Leave me a comment below if there's something special about her method that I'm not aware of. These are the clothing items I've decided to get rid of. And these are all the shoes that I'm getting rid of. Oh, these are a lot of shoes. So of the bags, I'm getting rid of these two. So next I'm just gonna get rid of some of these hats. And then I'm gonna go through these drawers and get rid of it. I have a lot of those straps that come with the bags. And I have a hat here, this scarf, just miscellaneous items there. And then these little shirts. Some of this stuff needs to be hung up. Some needs to go. In here I have some a onesie and a, a light robe, some sweatshirts, another robe. And then I have all my um, jean wear in here. This is actually going to be moved and I'm going to put some other shelving here. And that's where I'm going to store all the sweaters that are in here. Are going to be on the shelves that I'm going to stack to one on top of the other and it's gonna be right in this space. I'm hoping it fits. I didn't actually measure it. Okay, so sometimes when you shop your house, you can find things that you can use. And I had these two shelving units. They're very narrow. And these are the two that I think can fit in that little space over there. It looks like they will fit. So if they do fit, my plan is to place one and then put some E6000 and glue them together. I don't need them to be completely fastened with nails or screws or anything because it's just me using it and I'm going to be very safe and I'm only putting sweaters and light clothing on these shelves. So I'm going to see if it'll fit and then if it does we're just going to glue it together. Step one is done. That's the easy part. Now this is the harder part because I don't know if there's enough space between that and that. And here it is. With this moved over, it's actually a perfect fit. And then um, for here, because there used to be a shelf here, I found a uh, um, a piece of wood. It's actually a shelf from another one of those bookcases. I'm going to measure this and then I'm going to cut it off under here and I'm going to have a little thing that I can use as a small shelf up here which only can hold light things like some of these bags. Of the hats that I got rid of, these are the ones I'm saving. I'm just going to store those in this bottom bin. These are the bags that I'll be keeping. As for these things up here, I'm going to take those things down. So that's all nice and cleared off. And I'm going to do something with these shoes. The shoes that I wear a lot, I'll keep on this thing here. After getting rid of all the shoes that I don't want, these are the ones I'm left with. And then I have my main slide-on shoes and boots down in our breezeway area that I normally wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, this is what I decided to do with the other shoes. Do you remember? If you don't, I will link it below. But it is my abstract art challenge that I did. I made this backing for this bookshelf. 
and I'm using this instead because I just thought this was ideal and then my least worn heels are up here and my last resort flats are under here and then I put some of the others under here and I thought that was perfect because the shirts don't even really touch them and then there's a whole extra rack up here all the bags are here all the sweaters are right here there is nothing under here except for that same little bin that's in this back corner and everything is looking very very nice and neat and I did keep the radio that radio is gonna go but it's there for now it's fine the belts are fine for now I'm not gonna worry about those but it definitely looks a whole lot better.